Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to another video. Um, today I'm going to try um, to make a pour on this canvas. I already made a pour, as you can see, with uh, resin. Um, at first, I did like the pour, but unfortunately, I uh, stored it away on a not evil, um, not, not evil, not leveled. Um, surface so it uh, ran off I did notice it so after half an hour or something so I uh, leveled it and this is the result so I did uh, mix some uh, resin uh, what did I mix I will show you I mixed uh, some resin from uh, polyestershoppen.nl you can buy them in the Netherlands they have several kinds of resin but I'm going to pour with this one so I have some epoxy pigment white from Mr. Boat so this is the white and I'm going to experiment because I'm still learning at this uh, stage so I have some white which I have covered then I have uh, some nail polish which I'm going to use. So I'm going to use this greenish. I'm going to use this ocean blue. It's a mica. And I need gold. And I'm wondering, should I use flash gold? Yeah, I will do that. What about this color? It's also nail polish as we are experimenting just keep experimenting so ocean calinda this is flash gold it's a really bright yellowy gold and then we have ocean blue and of course the white from mr boat so let's go start with white Heat it up a little bit. I can spread it. Pop in some bu bubbles. Just trying to get it over the edge. Watch this. Not too much. Should do a Dutch pour. I'm always mumbling <laughs> in myself, so if you cannot hear me, that's probably right. <laughs> Sorry. I have to get used to filming uh, myself when I'm my art. I became good. So, a gold one. going to only do the white here. I'm going to pour it all around. What if I have... Not too hot. 
otherwise it will heat up my resin too much. Holding a flower today. Now I'm heating it up. Oh yeah. I'm going to create a little bit more white. So I'm going to pour this here and this here so that the white is a little bit more opaque so the other painting isn't showing through. So I'm going to do that. I do understand what the problem is now because uh, what I'm pouring on, of course, is a canvas. It's a uh, linen uh, canvas, cotton, something like that. Um, the first painting I did was resin, so I'm pouring on that. And now I'm heating that up again, so it's uh, because of that heat, first layer put on the original canvas is warming up and settling through so that's why I'm creating a puddle and it's flowing back to the middle because it's creating a well mainly I don't know how to fix this I, I can pour some off I think I'm going to do that you know what can I what can I mess up really already been messed up so I'm going to take this off scrape it off scrape it off scrape it off oh my god there is a lot of resin on it scrape it off scrape it off Okay, I will start with the. Uh, start with. I will start with gold. I will start with gold. Go to. Put the gold down. And I'm going to. I 
have some white. So I'm going to pour around. Try again. A better a Dutch pour. Okay. I will not heat it up first to build up. I uh, low heat, um, blowing it hard. And this one. And I'm blowing here. back uh, I will turn off the lights it when they sell up with lighter colors well the thing I have learned is that if I want to use white and I want it to be opaque I need more white and I also learned that you absolutely can use a nail polish for pouring with resin is pretty nice I think it is a little bit darker on my screen than it is in real life and if I do it like this yeah, it's still a little bit darker than in real life uh, I will leave it here to dry cover it up so there won't be any dust in it and now uh, let's wait and see how this will turn out um, I will first show you on my Instagram there, simply liquid art. Follow me there. Please leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and if you want to have me make more of these lovely arts with resin and acrylic paints, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much, you guys, for all the support. Bye.